Um, again, these are these are mole to mole conversions where you're given moles and your answer is in moles. So let's look at this one. Sulfuric acid is formed when sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen and water. Write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. If 12.5 moles of SO2 reacts, how many moles of H2SO4 can be produced? How many moles of O2 is needed for oxygen gas? I go right back to the five simple steps. I have so many people that run into the issue, they see a word problem and they shut down. They tell me, I just don't know where to start. I don't even know what to do. You go back to the five steps every time and you're going to get this down. Number one tells us that in the question we need to determine our known and our unknown. So I'm going to get up my green marker here. My known is the only numbers that they've given me, which is 12.5 moles of sulfur dioxide. So I'm going to need that throughout. My unknown, and I'll keep track of that in red, is what the answer needs to be in. So if 12.5 moles uh, of SO2 reacts, how many moles of H2SO4 can be produced? How many moles of H2SO4 can be produced? And how many moles of oxygen is needed? So we actually have two questions here. The first one, we have two unknowns, is moles of H2SO4 or sulfuric acid. And um, after that, we need to figure out moles of oxygen. These can be two separate equations, so you don't have to try to combine those together. I go to number two. Number two is important. I got to write a balanced chemical equation. I come back up here and I start to read through this. It says sulfur, uh, sulfuric acid is formed when sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen and water. So I'm making sulfuric acid from oxygen and water. So I write down oxygen, and I know this is oxygen gas. It's a diatomic. It never lives by itself. Plus water. And I'm going to take a step back so I can get a little more room here. I want my sulfur dioxide first. So um, my sulfur dioxide, and this is what comes out of a lot of smokestacks at refineries. It's released up into the air and it creates acid rain, sulfuric acid up in the sky. So I'm going to put that first. I should have done that to begin with. I've got sulfur dioxide plus oxygen gas plus water reacts to form sulfuric acid. And then I need to balance this. So I'm going to do the tree method here. And hopefully I've got enough room to do that. I've got sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen. Just have to bear with me. I'm writing over the top of my other work here. Over here I've got one sulfur, I've got two, four, five oxygens, and I've got two hydrogens. Over here I've got same thing, two hydrogens, one sulfur, and I've got four oxygens, which means I'm definitely going to need more on this side. That changes my hydrogens to four, it changes my sulfur to two, and it changes my oxygen to eight because 2 times 4 is 8. I go back up here to my sulfur, try to balance that. I know I need more sulfur over here, so I'll put a 2 in this spot. That gives me 2 sulfur. And now I have 2 times 2 is I have 4 oxygen here. I've got 2 here, and I've got one more over there. So 4, 5, 6, and I've got 7 now, which isn't enough. I come back, my sulfur is good, my oxygen is not. I need to have 8 oxygen and hydrogen. If I look, in here, I've got hydrogen and oxygen. Maybe I can um, do both things at once. If I put a 2 here, that changes my hydrogens here to 4 hydrogens. And my oxygens over here, now I have 2 oxygens here. I already looked this. I had 2 over here and I had 4 over here. So 4 plus 2 plus 2 gives me 8. So now I've got my balanced chemical equation, although it's kind of messy. Um, then I can move on to my next step, which is step number three. So 
I'm going to write the balanced equation back up here a little bit smaller so we can use it for the next step. You'll see it. So I've got my balanced chemical equation down here at the bottom, and I need to move on to step number three. Convert grams of known to moles. I go back and um, remember my known was 12.5 moles of SO2, and it's not in grams. It's not in mass, so I don't need to do any conversion there. I can skip number three and I can go straight to number four. Number four is where I try to solve my answer. So I'm trying to figure out how many moles of sulfuric acid are produced. I'll do the uh, next unknown here in just a minute. So in order to answer number four, I always need to write down what I know. In this case, in this case I'm going to pull it right out of my equation. I've got 12.5 moles of SO2. Now, when I get done, I need to, all the way at the end over here, I need to have moles of H2SO4. Moles of H2SO4. So I'm not done building my equation until I reach that point. I need some conversion factor here to get rid of moles of SO2, which means I have to have moles of SO2 down on the bottom of my equation and I can turn moles of SO2 into moles of H2SO4 by looking at my balanced chemical equation down at the bottom. So if I look at moles of SO2, I've got two moles of SO2 and I've got two moles of H2SO4. Now I do my math. 12.5 times 2 divided by 2 should give me 12 0.5 moles of sulfuric acid. I go to step number five. It says convert moles of unknown to grams, but I don't need to because it's already it's asking me for moles, so I don't need any conversion. So I've just answered that step. Let me go ahead and erase my screen and we'll look at the next one. So we've got our balanced chemical equation still down at the bottom. Um, our known hasn't changed, still at 12.5 moles of SO2. And then the next part of this is how many moles of oxygen, oxygen gas is needed. This does not change anything. We just go right back to our five super simple steps. Number one, we've identified our known and our unknown. Number two, we've got our balanced chemical equation. Number three, convert the grams of um, known into moles. If I look at my known up here, 12.5 moles, it's already in moles, I don't have to convert it. Next one is calculate the unknown. In order to calculate the unknown or solve for moles of oxygen gas over here, I write down what I know, which is 12.5 moles of SO2. I need to build some sort of equation with a conversion factor until I get my answer in moles of oxygen gas over here at the other end which means I need to have a conversion factor that has moles of SO2 on the bottom so that it'll cancel out this moles of SO2. Um, and I can convert moles of SO2 into moles of O2 by looking at my balanced chemical equation. So I'm going to put moles of O2 here and then we'll find those in our equation. I'm looking for moles of SO2. Down here I see that I have two moles of SO2 right there. And I look at my oxygen, I've got one mole of O2. Now it looks like this cancels out and this cancels out, so I just have to do the math. 12.5 times 1 divided by 2 is going to give me 6.25 moles of O2. I go and I look at, at um, so I've solved it in moles, now I look at uh, number 5. My equation, or my question says, how many moles of O2? I already have it in, that's a 6.25, I already have it in moles of O2. So I'm all done with my mole-to-mole -mole stoichiometric calculation. Um, in the next one, we'll look at stoichiometric calculation where we start with grams and need to end with moles.